Welcome to our Panther Sports Talk 2020 Holiday Special Year in Review. Joining me here in the Unidome, Athletics Director David Harris. And David, exactly one year ago, we are sitting here recapping 2019. And why were you excited for what 2020 had on the horizon for you and I Athletics? Ultimately, I was excited because I knew that when I looked at our coaches and looked at our student athletes, we were in a position to have another good year. Uh, if you look back at the fall of 19, uh, we had a strong year with our fall sports and we were rolling over into the winter sports seasons with uh, a number of players and a number of teams that were coming back that were really going to give us a chance uh, to be able to have a good year. And then our sports like basketball that go over both, both semesters were both in a position to where we felt like they would have a good year. So I'm always excited uh, about UNI Athletics and I'm always excited about the chance that we have to compete. But just looking at the 1920 year, fall of 19, I felt like we were in a position where, you know, football, we had good success. You, know, you go to the playoffs, you're in the quarterfinals, you look at volleyball, you win a regular season championship, you look at your basketballs, you're off to a good start. So we're rolling into 2020 and we're feeling really good about where we're going to be. In January and February and early March, really good for you and I Athletics. Really good. I know it's hard to think about now, but if you rewind back 9, 10, 11 months and think about what happened during that time period, our men's basketball team wins a regular season championship. Coach Jake is coach of the year. AJ is a player of the year. You have Isaiah Brown as a defensive player of the year. Uh, Trey Burhow as a newcomer of the year. So really strong season in men's basketball. You look at women's basketball, I think it's now five years in a row where we won 18 games. Uh, you look at Carly Rucker, who was a first team all-conference performer. And for the first time in our history, we beat Iowa, Iowa State, and Drake all in the same year. So that was phenomenal for us. You look at wrestling, we're in a spot where we finished third in the Big 12. Coach Schwab is coach of the year. We have two guys that win conference championships, uh, and we have one who is ranked number one going into the national tournament. Uh, look at our swimming program. We finish in the top five. We have a college, uh, excuse me, uh, scholar athlete of the year. Uh, we have a couple of swimmers who win conference championships. Uh, so we're in a good position there. I believe we had a diver, freshman diver of the year uh, as well. So you look at those sports and then you add in indoor track and field where we win another championship. And Coach Paulson is also the coach of the year. So just looking at our track and field program in the four and a half years that I've been here, we've won championships in cross country, indoor and outdoor track. So you put all of that together in that three month time period and we were really rolling. We were really having a good year uh, and I was just looking forward to seeing how things concluded. It's a lot to celebrate in a short amount of time. Why were you proud of how the student athletes and coaches, your staff responded after the pandemic was here and the need to keep pushing forward? The biggest thing I was proud of is just how we did academically, making that transition, getting to a point where we were online and we've never had to do that before. And the way that we performed in that setting, uh, the grades that we got, the GPA, just the way that we handled it, the way our student support services office came through and really helped us during that time period. First and foremost, just handling the academic piece and then everything else, all of the other adju adjustments, uh, the testing, uh, the uncertainty, the masking, all of that uh, was a piece of it as well. We handled that all phenomenally well and just really proud of our teams, our coaches, and our student athletes. A lot to celebrate in 2020, a lot of challenges and adversity faced. We'll be back with more with UNI Athletics Director David Harris to put a bow on 2020 and look forward into 2021 for UNI Athletics.